Surfas och prisjaktsbevakning på MBC 2016 presenteras i samarbete med LG. Här står vi i Qualcomm Spås på MVC 2016 och pratar om trådlös laddningsteknik. Qualcomm visar upp en ganska ny teknik som skiljer sig från tidigare laddningstekniker som har kunnat ladda trådlöst tidigare. Med mig här har jag Larry Leet. Nice to meet you. Hi Joel, good to meet you. Hi. Uh, could you tell me something about this uh, new charging technology? Sure, so what we're showing here today Joel is uh, resonant based standards from Airfuel. And what we're showing you here is a 16 watt transmitter that has the ability to penetrate through surfaces. Unlike standard uh, inductive technology where I have to have touching points between the transmitter and the receiver, what we're showing here is a system that has the ability to penetrate through surfaces. It'll penetrate through wood and through uh, me- um, uh, any other application out there besides metal, plastic, uh, quartz, uh, solid surface. But what we're able to do here is to show you that uh, the technology itself has the ability to penetrate through objects and allows you to have the ability to move it within that field and power your device. So you're not limited to just allowing it to sit directly on top of that, that area and try to find that sweet spot for power. As long as you're in that zone, I have the ability to, to charge any devices I want to. This one here is a 16 watt system, so I'm able to charge multiple devices at any given point in time. What you'll find is that you'll see that this will drop in and uh, power up my uh, my LG phone, and it'll power up my Apple. Um, each of them asking for about five watts of power through the receivers. And then what's interesting about this is because the resonant uh, air fuel standard allows for smart communication between the transmitter and the receiver, I have the ability to throw a, a smaller wattage application, such as this headset, into that same space for areas that are driving five watts to drive milliamps, uh, milliwatts through there and not have to have any uh, concern about uh, overheating the, uh, the, uh, the smaller device. We have desktop applications over there as well. And then uh, for legacy-based technologies like my Apple iPhone that doesn't have wireless power built into it, we have uh, applications such as keys or a slim tab here that fits between the case and the phone so that people can utilize wireless power that may not have it embedded in their phones. Okay, so you, you have some competitors. Yep. Your main one is Qi charging. Correct. How do you differentiate and how are you doing this better? Well, I don't know if we're doing it better, we're doing it different. Um, so what I would say here is that we have the ability to, jar- to, to charge multiple devices off of one system. Whereas Qi, if I have three phones here, uh, for example, I have to have three separate pads. So we're cutting down the number of units necessary to do that. We also have higher wattage uh, applications here. This is a 16 watt system. Qi currently has a five watt limitation. Although they have specifications out there that say that they're going to come up to 15 watts. Um, but right now in the marketplace, they're up to, to five. So we have 16 and 10 watt systems available now and we're working on laptop charging applications that bring us up to about 33 watts. Okay, so the interesting thing here for our readers is of course when can they see this in their phones? Uh, From the phone perspective you should start to see uh, uh, announcements being made from some of the major guys in the next two to three months uh, as the standard becomes more and more adopted. Uh, From what's interesting though from your readers perspective maybe about laptops you'll start to see uh, the Skylake chipset that has the resident standard from Airfuel introduced by them in the third quarter and that will allow uh, laptops to be wirelessly charged which should then draw additional mobile devices to the uh, the Airfuel side. Okay, Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, appreciate your time. Detta var alltså trådlös laddning från Qualcomm och för att lite snabbt sammanfatta kan man säga att det är en trådlös laddningsteknik som gör det möjligt att ladda genom bord, kan ladda flera, sam- flera enheter samtidigt och ja, det är en laddningsteknik som skiljer sig lite från Qi-laddning och som kommer till vissa enheter senare under året. Tack för att du tittade. Gilla gärna och kommentera gärna nedanför. Och om du gillar just den här videon och vill se fler så kan du prenumerera med knappen nedanför.